Hello from Guanajuato. Guanajuato is a UNESCO World Heritage. It's the capital city of the state of the same name. And behind me you can see the city uh, built in a valley, quite a narrow valley. This place used to be the richest city in Mexico during the silver mining. It produced two-thirds of the world's silver uh, production and it was a really really rich city and you can see behind me the colonial buildings that have been built it has amazing churches a huge university with 20,000 students and uh, a lot of colonial museums and other buildings it's a very colorful city has a lot of street art also statues and sculptures and a lot of green areas this has the potential of becoming our favorite one of our favorite mexican cities top of this hill where we are now, the hill which you can reach by a funicular, funicular ride of 25 pesos one way, you have this monument of La Pipila, which actually means a female turkey, probably from the face he has or from the laughing that he had. Pipila is actually a miner, a famous miner in Guanajuato who stormed the Spanish troops quarters here during the independence war and set the wooden door on fire that allowed the insurgents to step in and kill all the Spanish soldiers. These were the beginnings of the Mexican independence movement. has an amazing theater, the Teatro Juarez, located in the center of the city with its 12 pillars outside and a very opulent inside. Uh, the building of this theater took 30 years and the dictator uh, Diaz uh, opened it and the interior actually sort of resembles his likings of uh, opulent and, and monumental interiors. The interior otherwise is quite nicely done because it has a little bit of Art Nouveau touch. They say that it is an, even has a Moorish touch. And the very special place here is the Fumoir where we are right now that has a glass floor, which is quite unusual. Teatro is the Jardin de la Union and this is a beautiful square in the city center. It's almost like a little park. During the day it offers shade from the sun and in the evening it's a meeting point for all the students. There's a pavilion where they play music or do dance performances and around you have a lot of bars and restaurants and you can hear the students laugh at night and listen to the music of the Mararachis. So don't miss this, especially in the evening.
and for a good mi midday snack, typical Mexican snack, you have to come to Mercado Hidalgo. And here you can have bread with some meat inside and then you take the sauce if you're not too sensitive for spicy. So the guy here from the booth was super friendly and he offered us a little bit to try because otherwise we probably wouldn't have tried it. So let's try and eat this. There's some spicy sauce here. Try a little bit. This is how it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really good. Muy bien. Next to the market, there's a little shop called Galerenia that sells all kinds of sweets. There's candied fruits, sweets, liquors, and we found candied um, almendras. almendras. These are uh, almendras. What is almendra? Mandeln. Almonds. Almonds. So we found candied almonds, which we're going to take. They look delicious. You can buy tortillas fresh from the counter. And one of the most unique places in Guanajuato is the Mummy Museum. Now the Mummy Museum is probably something that you cannot find anywhere else. It contains uh, deterred mummies dead bodies that have been very well preserved due to, the due to the climate of this area, very dry air, so there is a certain level of modification and these dead bodies are exposed in that museum behind me, so get ready for some pretty creepy footage. So in fact, the city of Guanajuato decided to exhumate the bodies from the graves, from the families who could not, could not pay the taxes uh, to keep the graves. And uh, this guy, uh, Leroy, Remigio Leroy, is a French doctor who was exhumated the first because he had no family here. And they realized that the body is in a good shape. So uh, after they started to exhumate the other bodies, these are the bodies that are now exposed in this museum.
Casa Diego Rivera and Guanajuato is really worth a visit. It is actually the house where Diego Rivera was born together with his twin brother of course which died in the age of two. And you have changing exhibition but also permanent exhibition not only from Diego Rivera. There are a lot of sketches he made when he was young and which he then later uh, used also for his big murals in Mexico City. There's also a little bit out of Frida Kahlo, but just a little tiny bit. of Guanajuato is in this very uh, disputed building in the center of Guanajuato and uh, it, the whole university is in several campuses and has 33,000 students. In Guanajuato alone there's about 20,000 students and this building is really in the city center and they are still discussing if it fits here or not so you can be your own judge about that. in the ex Hacienda San Gabriel de Barrera and this is a private house or private hacienda which is located around two and a half kilometers outside from Guanajuato and it's situated in a beautiful big park with different themed gardens so if you want to chill in the afternoon or have a little bit a moment on the quiet side this is the perfect place to be to come here and to relax. There's also a little coffee shop which is making perfect espresso, a little bit more expensive than in the city, but it's really worth it. This was our take on Guanajuato, a city that has potential to become a favorite. Uh, there's a lot to see and we had a great food last night. We found a really cute little restaurant. Food is just amazing. And now we are at the bus station in Guanajuato, heading to a new destination. The bus here in Mexico is a very good way to travel. The buses are big, comfortable, safe, on time, and offer free Wi-Fi and films and everything. The distances are quite long, so that's why it's a comfortable, comfortable way to travel. Thank you for watching. See you in the new destination. Bye.